Let's pretend for a moment that the world of tax-funded public safety and well-stocked grocery stores are a thing of the past. And you, perhaps with a handful of family and friends, must fend for yourself in a tough and perhaps hostile environment. This is more real and possible now than any time in recent past. Among the considerations for survival are, of course, firearms. But which would you choose? The most critical consideration for firearms in our scenario would be reliability. Does it go bang with every trigger press? Does it cycle the widest possible spectrum of ammo available in that caliber? Is it simple to maintain? With that in mind, I took a good hard look at a few of the best apocalypse guns. Fear old men and animals invading territory they do not normally inhabit is the primary fear. Zombies are in the same strata as aliens on my emergency list, so I tend to think more realistically. SHTF 12-Gauge Shotgun This was the easiest choice. A shotgun, in general, has nearly endless applications based on the variety of loads available, especially if one has reloading equipment. The Remington 870 pump-action chambered in 12-gauge has endured as one of the most reliable shotguns in history. It's inexpensive, made for utility, and rugged. Some auto shotguns abound on the market today, but none have the reliability or simplicity of the 870. The gauge selection is due to the wide range of loads available in 12-gauge. The Mossberg 500 was a close runner-up, but the 870 edged it out thanks to personal experience and the references of friends in law enforcement. It's capable of earning its keep by obtaining large and small game and is an effective defense weapon. Traditional hunting models are probably the most common 870s in civilian homes. The police model, with its shorter 18-inch barrel and larger magazine capacity, offers more practicality. Either one will serve the owner well, with greater reliability than most semi-auto shotguns. The shotgun is an effective deterrent against two-legged pests. You can't go wrong with a Remington 870 or a Mossberg 500. SHTF 9mm Handgun The Glock 17 and 19 has a long track record of reliability and the other criteria here. While Glock offers a wide variety of calibers and models, the 9mm is a commonly available cartridge worldwide and less pricey. Like the AR-15, parts are currently ubiquitous and many are interchangeable between models and calibers. As a true aficionado of the 1911, it's hard to think of turning my back on that old standby. Indeed, it's more accurate, but it falls behind quickly where ease of maintenance and magazine capacity are concerned. Newer models are, in my experience, less reliable than Colt Originals. Concealability, which may or may not be a consideration in this scenario, isn't as easy with the G17, but the Glock 19 can bridge this gap. SHTF 22 Rimfire There will be plenty of naysayers for this cartridge as a final choice, but the 22 has been a ballistic tool of choice for hunters, assassins, farmers, and housewives for over a century. It has eliminated countless barnyard varmints and more bad guys than I care to count. If we as consumers discount the memory of the days when 22 was 3 cents per round, the cost and availability factors aren't as dire as it once was just a mere year ago. Notice, there's no make and model named in the subheading. That's a reflection of how difficult it is to choose among the many candidates. In the end, utility is king. Some of my favorites are the Ruger 1022 Takedown, Ruger 22 Bearcat, SW Model 17 Revolver, or the Caltech PMR or CMR 30 in 22 Magnum. Choices in this category are endless and should boil down to what you have experience and confidence in. Another consideration 500 rounds of 22 is portable in comparison to other calibers. Many will likely argue that a 22 rifle is preferable to a 22 handgun, and I'd not argue back much, especially when discussing a firearm for a beginner to use effectively. In a world where the return on investment of both resources and calories is key, 
perhaps a 22 should be at the top of this list. SHTF Bolt Action Rifle As with the 22 Rimfire, the brand and model are less important as there are many choices with legendary track records. It's comforting to know that, with the assistance of an optic, the little arsenal includes something that can be effective at long distances for most game and any precision shooting needs. The ideal caliber would be a 308 Winchester due to availability. 30 6 would be a close second. Both calibers are more or less commonly available. Rate of fire and weight are potential drawbacks with this firearm. In comparison to others here, this platform requires greater knowledge and time investment on the part of the operator to accomplish the long-range feats it's capable of. SHTF Lever Action Rifle As an avid handloader, my decision will be driven by something that is effective on wild game for food and predators, be they two- or four-legged. But it must also be conducive to being hand-loaded and offer real versatility. Therefore, my choice is a 357 Magnum Lever Action Rifle, the Henry Big Boy X model. With its 17.4-inch barrel, it can generate enough energy to kill a deer, disable an attacker, and handle coyotes, but is also compact and convenient enough for easy carrying. Mine would sport a peep sight. That works very well for my eyes. And the rifle's overall handling characteristics make it a good choice for instinctive or point shooting when necessary. From the reloading front, the choice of the 357 Magnum allows for the use of a variety of powders and, most importantly, the ability to simply and easily cast bullets for future use. Hopefully, I'll have a large stock of good projectiles on hand, but if that's not the case, this caliber is a simple one to cast bullets for, regardless of what that dark future may hold. Since the 357 Magnum has a straight-walled case, I won't need to have lube for sizing. It is extremely easy to load for, and long case life is a positive. Moreover, the 357 Magnum and 38 Special Brass is going to be relatively easy to find. Through creative loading, we can create a range of offerings, from quiet, low-velocity, low-flash defense loads, to heavy bullet loads capable of taking deer-sized North American game for food. While I wouldn't tackle a grizzly bear, I would have confidence with this rifle on a black bear, which, by the way, could produce lube for my cast bullets if needed, with a heavy bullet and slower powder. This is obviously all one person's opinion. There are virtually endless choices and considerations. For example, what if the environment was urban or in a foreign country? List your own versions of this top five in the comments below.